Hi, my name is Robin Wong. I have here the Olympus OMD EM1 Mark III. And I want to talk about specifically the live ND feature in this camera. Let's do this. I will start by talking about what Life ND is, how it works in the Olympus camera. How is it different from a real neutral density filter? How you can activate it in your Olympus OMD camera? And of course, some limitations that come with Life ND. For newcomers to photography and for those of you who may not know what neutral density filter is and what it does, an ND filter is simply a dark piece of glass that you put in front of the lens to cut out some amount of light that comes into the camera. There are several reasons why we want to cut out light that comes into the camera. One of them is to allow the use of very slow shutter speeds to express motion in photograph. Say you want to blow of the parts of the moving water in your image. Hence, we use slight shutter speeds of half a second. Typically, under broad daylight, easily we can get an overblown, overexposed image. An effective way to ensure that the image is not overexposed and at the same time we are using slow shutter speeds for that creative motion in the photography that we do is to use the ND filter. Now that we understand how the physical ND filter works, then what is live ND in the Olympus OMD camera? Live ND was a feature that was introduced in the EM1X and subsequently it was also made available in the EM1 Mark III. At the date of this video, there were only two cameras from Olympus that have this live ND feature. Basically, live ND is a simulation. It is part computational photography. It is a composite of multiple images that are merged to simulate ND filter effect. The Olympus Life ND aims to fulfill one purpose of the real physical ND filter only. I've mentioned this purpose earlier, is to allow the use of slow shutter speed for creative motion blur expression and at the same time to prevent that image from being overexposed. If you're hoping for this Life ND feature in the OMD camera to do anything else that the physical and real ND filter does, I'm very sorry to disappoint you, it is not possible. Now, how does the Life ND prevent overexposure and at the same time allow the use of slow shutter speed to capture motion? It takes multiple images at much shorter duration of time. These images were taken consecutively with no break in between and merge in computational processing to simulate the motion blur that's equivalent in the smooth shutter speed. Typically, when we take a photograph under the bright sunlight, when there's too much light, we need faster shutter speeds to keep a balanced exposure. And when this happens using fast shutter speeds, in this particular case, when there's flowing water, the water is pretty much frozen. I have set up the A and F button to be shortcut for Live ND. As we activate the Live ND immediately, you see that the flowing water is smooth and is blurry. And we take a photograph, the image is not overexposed, and yet we get the slow shutter speed effect. This is what the Live ND does, and you can see the simulation happening live as well. Now, if we don't use a live ND under normal circumstances without any ND filter, we use slow shutter speed. Of course, the image that we take will be overblown as we have mentioned earlier. 
by enabling the live ND quickly we can take a photograph of this blur moving water as seen live even before we take a photograph this is a very quick and easy way to simulate the ND filter effect without having a real physical ND live ND can only be used at two modes the manual or shutter speed parity mode to activate the live ND go into the menu find camera shooting menu 2 go down to live ND shooting go in go in further and you'll see two options and the number and live view simulation of course we want to turn on the live view simulation and inside the ND number we have an option from ND2 to ND32 in this case we will select ND16 make sure you turn on the live ND shooting and once you're outside you'll see that live ND icon at the top it means that your live ND is already activated and you can use this live ND feature for shooting if you use the Live ND feature a lot, then I suggest you assign one of the shortcut buttons to activate Live ND. To do that, press Menu, go to the gear icon on the left. Once you are there, go to B1, B for button, find button function, go in, and you can choose any other buttons that you wish to customize. In my case, I use the ALFL button. Make sure that it is selected as the live ND shooting. Once this is done, when you press that particular shortcut button that you have selected, it will activate or deactivate live ND shooting. Considering that the live ND is a computational simulation processing effect, hence it comes with a host of limitations. If you have followed me and this channel this far, you will realize that I've always been honest and forthcoming when it comes to shortcomings and what certain features in the Olympus OMD camera cannot do. I do not skip this part. I'm not just some photographer or ambassador who keeps telling you how great the camera is without discussing its weaknesses. I hope you see that and I do hope that you appreciate me being transparent and telling you all these weaknesses as well. Limitation number one, Live ND is a steals only feature. It does not work for video. I've been asked so many times, hey Robin, can I use Live ND for video? It is so convenient. I don't need to buy an additional ND filter anymore. I can use the Live ND filter on the camera while doing movie recording and get that cinematic motion blur look at 1 50th of a second without overexposing. No, you cannot do that. If you have paid attention to what I've said, and how I explain how the Life ND works, you will easily realize that this Life ND feature does not apply to video. Limitation number two, you cannot use flash with Life ND. Considering that it is multiple images being merged real time, you have to take many, many, many images and the flash just cannot fire so quickly without any break subsequently when Live ND is being used. Limitation number three, the ND filter equivalent that is being simulated in the camera, the range is from ND2 to ND32. It is about five stops of exposure coverage from ND2, which is one stop, to ND32, which is cutting light about five stops of exposure. Limitation number four, you cannot use fast shutter speeds with live ND. Now let's put live ND aside and talk about what real physical neutral density filters can do. These real physical ND filters, once you put in front of the lens, can effectively cut off light that comes into the camera regardless of any camera settings that you choose, any shutter speeds, any aperture, any ISO, the ND filter will still work. This is not the case for Live ND. Live ND being a simulation, it is processing dependent. There are restrictions, especially to shutter speeds. Now, the limitations of shutter speeds is dependent on which 
ND level settings that you choose, I'll pull out the limitations on the screen. For example, if you use ND32, then that particular shutter speed limit is about half a second. You cannot shoot anything faster than half a second. Limitation number five, ISO, the highest you can go with live ND is 800. Now, some of these limitations are due to the restrictions of processing power in the camera. As the Olympus OMD camera advances with newer releases, when Olympus uses more powerful processor and more advanced programming, I'm sure probably in the future we will get ND filters that is equivalent beyond ND32. Perhaps we'll get ND1000 to ND4000. That will be really great. And the shutter speed limits will be broken. Perhaps you'll be able to use faster shutter speeds, maybe one over 100 or one over 500 of a second. Another popular question that I get, will the live ND feature be made available for any other Olympus cameras via firmware upgrade? Personally, I do want to see this happen. I wish that my Olympus EM1 Mark II has the live ND feature. I'm sure most of you with other Olympus cameras would want to have live ND as well. However, realistically speaking, I don't think it is possible. Live ND is processing intense. The reason why it is possible in EM1 X is because of the dual Trupi 8 processors inside the camera. And the EM1 Mark III has the latest and most powerful Trupi 9 processor from Olympus. Without this raw processing power, I don't think that they can just simply add the live ND feature and make it happen to any other older Olympus cameras. That's all I have to share about Olympus Live ND. I hope that you've learned something interesting from this video. If you found my sharing useful, please buy me a cup of coffee or any contribution to my PayPal account, no matter how small, will be appreciated. It goes a long way. I'll leave the links in the descriptions below. All I can promise in return is to continue to make videos like this and publish them in this channel. If you've liked this video, please give me a thumbs up. Please consider subscribing to this channel and I'll definitely see you again in the next one. Until then, please stay safe and take care. Bye-bye.